I, I mentioned this earlier and uh, I think most people are actually building their Kave teams wrong. Kave is generally an on-field support driver for Bloom teams. And as an on-field Dendro driver, Kave brings uh, a lot of utility with regards to how Bloom works. His AOE Dendro application and then he's got the increased Bloom damage and the self-healing when he gets hit by Bloom abilities. So that makes him a very comfortable uh, pick, especially for like Nilu teams or just, you know, the standard blue teams. Now, the issue with this is uh, people think that you gotta build Kave full elemental master. And I think that's actually wrong. You should build your Kave energy recharge. EM should be a secondary stat, although it should be your next main stat. You should fulfill his energy recharge requirements first, and then you fulfill his EM after. So in my case, my Kave, what I would suggest is around 200 energy recharge. My Kave has 234. I know it's kind of high, but I think he needs it. His energy requirements like 80 uh, for his burst. You really need his elemental skill a lot to detonate cores. That's exactly the thing. He only detonates the cores, but the stats are based on who creates them. And that's what I think some people are having some confusion regarding how to build Kave. When a core drops, the damage that that core deals is based on the character that creates the core. And it's based on two major factors, the base level of that character and the EM of that character. When Kave uses his elemental skill, he only detonates them they do not calculate his stats he just makes them explode so you need characters that creates the core to have the em stat not kave necessarily i hope that made sense like for example in the team that i like to run right which is this team um but there is a free to play option where i switch out kazuha with the traveler the dendro traveler um, especially if you have energy recharge issues the dendro traveler is pretty good because he can share it with kave but in my case i have pretty high uh energy recharge so i just opt to use kazuha because he can pull the dendro course together for weapons i gave him a sacrificial greatsword that allows me to use his elemental skill twice for artifacts we have deep wood memories because we need that dendro damage bonus as well as the resistance shred if you have a different dendro character like i mentioned earlier with the dendro traveler you can have the dendro traveler use deep wood memories and then kave can pretty much use something else in this particular instance my kave is actually built energy recharge emem -EM. focus on er get it to around 200 and then you can focus on em so if you don't have it to 200 yet, I would suggest you run maybe an emblem of Severed Fate. Two-piece emblem, two-piece deep wood. Your teammates are the one that need the full EM. So I have a Barbara here with a Flower of Paradise Lost. This is a full EM set. She has Sacrificial Fragments for more EM. I have a Xingqiu here running Sacrificial Sword, usual for Xingqiu. And then you have Artifacts is uh, Gilded Dreams. Again, that's a triple EM. And then I have a Kazuha here with Viridescent. And you guessed it, triple EM. The reason why they are the ones running EM is that the way Dendro works, it's usually the Hydro characters that drop the cores. When the cores fall, they're calculating the stats of the Hydro characters, not Kave's stats. And that results in bigger Dendro damage. You will actually see this if you build the the other characters without EM and just build Kave EM. You will notice because you'll just get like maybe 6,000, 8,000 um, Dendro core damage. Um, but with this, with with this, you're pretty much dealing like close to Nilu's Bloom damage. So you'll get like maybe 18,000, 16,000. Uh, depends on the characters, of course. The max level is important. So, like, this Barbara is only level 80, so if she's level 90, she'll actually deal more damage when she generates cores. That's just me not leveling her up. So, you open with your elemental skill, you switch to your Hydro characters, right? And then you burst. See? 18,000. There. 19,000. And you just, you just do, like, there. See? The reason the damage is so big is because Barbara and Xingqiu are the ones who are generally making those cores and they are triple EM. When you have the burst, make sure you do like a triple normal attack and then you dash. 
because that's the quickest way you can deliver the dendro damage the charge attack although it looks pretty good i would not suggest you use it because um although it looks pretty cool it doesn't work well because it can't trigger you know the characteristics of someone like Xingqiu. Xingqiu's burst or Yelan's burst if you're running Xingqiu or Yelan. And obviously this is a free-to-play type team. You can definitely switch your Barbara to Kokomi. You can switch your Xingqiu to um, Yelan. And if you're using the Dendro Traveler on the third slot, you can switch it to a Nahida. Alright, that's all for that video. Don't forget to follow and subscribe for more Genshin videos. <laughs> See you guys on the next one. Ha 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 ha.